All right, guys. Welcome. Today we're gonna be doing an unboxing of this Dremel Maker Kit. Um, it has three uh, tools here that pretty much do what like my boyfriend and I end up doing a lot of, which is like DIYing stuff. Um, shows you here on the lid like the cool things you can do with these things. And uh, we're just gonna check that out right now and see how um, what's inside. We won't go over what it does yet. I might do that in a separate video, but definitely want to show you guys what, how much we got it for, and if you think this is worth the deal. Because I thought we thought it was. So here we go. Let's open this bad boy up. All right. So first off, it is gonna oh cute. It's gonna give you a little decal for Dremel. Make more cute. We're gonna set that aside. Then we do have here instructions on how to use the tools so it does come the set of instructions oh my god this is so cute um all right so yeah it does give you a set of instructions we'll look into that in a little bit but along with this one and wow that is that is some amazing um boxing at least like everything that's in it all right open up let's see Okay, so this is a tin silver case. Ooh, look at that. All right, so which one is this one? For the wood burning. Okay, so this is the wood burning tool. And this comes in a very amazing case. I have to, I'm, I'm all for aesthetically pleasing looking cases. This is a good one. This looks pretty, we have one. It's nothing like this, but I'm actually interested to see how this one burns. And hopefully it's not um, so heated because the one we have, you can feel that heat just by even having it here, you know? So hopefully this one actually doesn't have that. I think the only thing different with this one is, uh, is a butane. Oh, this is a butane yeah. one. Okay. So the one we have is an electric, electric one. Yeah. yeah, I remember that one. So you can either use it for soldering, stuff like that. So good for or soldering. For burning. You have the different Ooh, tips. what's this? That's for the soldering, like to soak it up with water. Oh, so, so when you soak it up, yeah. so it can kind of dry. Okay, and then these are the little tips that come with it. I'm assuming that this is the Good cover soldering. for it. Yeah, okay. And the soldering. The soldering. Oh, this is cool. It gives you a little bit of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, this is a good one. I like this one. That's a cute case. I wonder, is this, is this a case off as well? Yeah, it is a case off. Okay, because there's nothing underneath that. And this one would be... Oh, this is cute. This is the etching tool. This yeah. is the etching tool. I know, I know. Because it comes... There's a lot of them that come with these little things. I have so many of them. And, I mean, if, you, if this is what you like and this is what you can use uh, for a starter, this is actually great. I, I think this is something that any starter kit should always come with. So that's pretty cool in itself. This one's electric. Um, that's great because it comes in different speeds. The one that we normally have is battery powered. You only get one speed. It's like literally like a trembling little thing where you kind of don't have too much of uh the ability to do what you want but this one looks pretty interesting okay yeah it feels really like aesthetically pleasing to the hand because it has a little grip the other ones don't and you know what in the other video we will compare but look that little that tip wow even in the camera looks pretty sharp that's a good tip and and again we will compare with different ones but this is really cool i'm not sure if it's replaceable though if I, you know what, it could be because it looks, yeah, it looks like it's you can able to like you know get a different um, tip on it, a different size, and work with that. But for this one, beginners, I think it's really not that bad. This is a good, really good tip one. And again, you can always do different things. I have uh, different things that I use, so etching with just that is not your only option. But we will do that when we actually uh, start testing these things one by one. And Dremel, good job, man. Like, packaging is great. I mean, I like that they're in, like, separate containers. It's not all over the place. This one, low and high. Which was this one? This is the uh, one that you can The sending. Anything. Anything. Oh, this is the anything too. Okay. Buffing, um, etching, uh, wood carving as well. Um, this one has a little tape. Yeah. You, you have to take that one. do anything with this one. Um, sanding off. 
buffing, drilling, drilling, not drilling, not full on drilling, but like some tiny holes. holes, like incisions on like things, or if you wanted like to hang something, put a little drill in it. I guess that could be a thing, but it definitely doesn't um, work as a drill tool. Just be aware of that. It just it has. I think it must have those little mechanics. Yeah, see, because it comes with the little sand bits, so sanding for sure. It does drill in. It kind of has an etching tool as well that I saw in there right yeah. now. So this could be a second etcher. I feel like Which the I other. Use. Yeah, and you and you have seen people use these things like that, so it's not uncommon. So see, this is what we're gonna see. Yeah, see these little tools right. Actually, you know what? I think these are the ones you can do in the other one as well, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe. Yeah, see. I'm not sure. Again, well, we'll try it when we kind of compare the two, but. Yeah, it does have for that buffing effect, and I think this is like the tool to Dude, use it, yeah, it. to tighten that up. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. And this is the softer part of it. So I think this is like what the buffing yeah, of it. Yeah, the, the, so. the, the buffing wax uh, solution. Oh, the cool. College compound. Wow, interesting. All right. This is a little thicker. Rougher actually. I think it's a smooth it down. I, I, I think so. I'm not sure. I need to look into. Yeah, what, what we does. obviously don't know much of it. We just got it because it was on Amazon like for about eighty dollars, huh? Yeah. I'll I'll put the I'll, yeah, I'll put was, the links on there. Yeah, but I got it from eBay. Actually. Yeah, we ended up getting this one from eBay with a warranty, mind you. And I'm not the like biggest 85. fan of eBay, but it was about what? Eighty-five. Eighty-five. Plus the warranty or with the warranty? With the warranty, already. with the warranty already. So I mean this is not if you're into like crafting handy tool stuff that you think you might need for the future, it comes with three of them. So honestly I feel like for the buy and everything that we got with it, it isn't bad. And I feel like um once we try it out and, and figure out what we like about each and every one of them, we will uh, compare them from obviously Dremel to the cheaper brands that you might see out there because I do have like other cheaper brands of these things so at the end of the day I feel like this isn't the worst it's actually it looks like a seamlessly gray buy and then where's the other one and they come in their own little boxes so you can kind of make keep that together with your stuff and then the steel case one yeah this one's my favorite by far my favorite by far for sure. I feel like this is prestigiously great. So, hey guys, thank you for tuning in with us on this one. We are going to definitely end up like comparing cheaper non um, brand name tools against these and we'll have a, a video soon to come for that. But stick around if you like this video, definitely subscribe, like, and we hope to see you in the next video. Thanks, say bye.